just under the house. What could go wrong? Shiki, shiki, shiki. Ah hmm? oh, shit, potato chips. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Sam and Lonnie. Yep. There it is. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh, this is mine. Huh. Huh. Looks like my old she got tossed in the fucking basement. No one loves me. At least I got first place. Chumps. Alright, don't make a scary noise. That's what you do, right? Breakers here, I don't know. You're still plugged in, really? Oh. You must have just fallen over, I guess. Oh shit. What what the hell? Huh. Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. Dude, he just said that his son wasn't good enough. What the heck, man? Ooh. Hey. Mom citizenship stuff. Where is she from? Oh, she's from Canada. Interesting. Pretty cool stuff. Hmm. <laughs> they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. What is that? Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Oh, no. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Women outlaws. Ten cents. Pretty cheap. Huh. The great odd solar ride of ninety five, pretty enough. Huh. Did they make comics in their spare time? 
I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Hello? Where the hell am I? Oh! 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 Huh. I missed you, old friend. I'm gonna go back to that other area. Well, it's over here, actually. Okay, let's see. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. Hold on. Okay. It's incredible being Where's... in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. I want to read but this. Then, I really. I'm going to be at every single show. I want to read that. You can't stop me. Okay, you're, you're just gonna do that to me. Ha! Well, little did you know, I have been recording this, so I'm gonna go back and read that whether you like it or not. Bitch. Safe. Damn it. Hello? Oh, that's not a good sign at all. What's this? How tall is he? Doesn't even say. Like, that's almost as tall as I am. And he was 12? What the hell? What kind of 12 year old is that? That's some, like, magic shit. Hey. Huh. Don't want to upset the spirits of the house, so, uh, I'm sorry I touched your toy. And it uh, definitely won't happen again. Bye. So, we're about to safe here. Maybe the combo's in the attic. But I don't have the attic key.
my sister singing. That's what all those fucking tapes are around the house. Like they're banned. It's cool, I guess. In Espanol. Are you shitting me? Did she run away to Mexico with Lonnie? ticket That explains the skull over there, okay. She gave it to her when she was in Mexico. Found the dining room. Damn, why does mom have so many purses? Can I turn the lights on? Yeah. Eh. Whee! Oh, flipping trays and tables and burgers. Hey, it's a postcard I sent. And the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> don't tell me things I don't need to know. Go away. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. did. Oh. I wonder what the hell she's been giving out. Is that, oh, the, the comics maybe? I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. Oh. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? Oh, shit. And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. What? You're too young to know what you want. Oh, yeah, you and Lonnie right. are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. Huh. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Wait, what is she cheating? Or are the parents separating? That sounded like she was getting on with a guy. Or maybe it was the dad. Maybe that's like an old letter, I don't know. Sounds like the dad is having writer's block. Kitchen. Oh, it looks like Sam got a job. Yeah. 
Sorry. Rebellious. Rebellious youth. Yeah. What's this red cup? Why is this the only red one? Bet that Sam's. Show me the cookie. Wait, no, no. Show me the cookies. Fine, whatever. Eh. Hmm. Guess I'll never know what time it is. Shaky, shaky, shake. Peanut butter. I'm depressed. Bleh. Bleh. Potato chips and ketchup. Gotta sweep this shit up. That's how brooms work. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oven? Any heads? No. There's just nothing. Cabinets here. Nothing. Business opportunity. Oh, and that's what they did. He accepted it. This must be the shed or something. Oh, it's the garage. Okay. Halloween. Shay, shay, wait. It hasn't been opened. Who put that in there? Hey, the milk. Hmm? Oh! Well, it looks like she quit. So, if I had to make a guess of this far, Sam fell in love with Lonnie. Lonnie was in the army. She was shipped out to Mexico. They wrote each other, but like she still she missed her, so she got a job, saved enough money, and she ran away to Mexico with Lonnie to live with her. The end. Unless there's something more. Huh? Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she dedicated the last song to me. Yep. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. 
I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, that's kind of harsh. Heads? Hmm? Wait a second. Stryer's amazing. It's folded the pants for them. Hey, garden. Give me some seeds and give me some beads and I'll make some crafts for you and me. Oh, this must be where the dad does the typing and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Jazz. Damn straight. Oh shit, with all these notes. Huh. Couples counseling. Oh shit, they were having problems. The accidental human. New book, it looks like. There was something under the stairs? I didn't see shit. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Oh shit. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like she, that she, she. in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and, she and I was home. finally alone. So, I, I remember reading a note earlier about the milk, but, uh, the game's not advanced enough to let me open milk, so... I guess we'll never know. So, there was a thing here. Ah, uh... oh, come on, some satanic shit around here. Well, there's the attic key, at least. Huh? The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. This is cereal. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Well, got the attic key. One direction to go. I have a feeling this game's getting close to the end. This is where the final ritual takes place. Where they take my spleen. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. 
And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to Basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. I totally called it. Did I check these? Yes, I did. Why am I checking them again? <clears throat> Not paying attention. This seems like it'd be the final thing right here. Can't be, though. Well, I guess it is. I never got Katie, to open that fucking I'm so sorry safe. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Has gone home. So I'll do it first Bravo! Pretty cool! I enjoyed it at least. Yeah, yeah, skip the skip the credits. Okay, um It's pretty cool, I guess. Well, uh, thanks for sticking around. Assuming you did. And you're not gone because you got bored. Please, someone be there. Please? So, uh, I looked it up real fast. And, uh, apparently, this year right here, 1963, that's the, uh, combination of the safe. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging, no, did I? There we go. I'm gonna need some tubing. Oh shit, doctor's handwriting. All right, well, here you go. You can read that if you want, just pause it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.